Hey everyone, today I wanted to talk to you about a hot new trend in the tech ecosystem. No, it's not AI. I think we've had enough of that for the moment. It's platform engineering. There's been a lot of hype, marketing pushes, and misinformation about what platform engineering is and what it isn't. So today I wanted to talk about three things that platform engineering is not. For starters, platform engineering isn't DevOps, at least not what DevOps is supposed to be. If you have a team in your organization that's called DevOps and it builds a platform for other teams to use, then uh, maybe your DevOps team is platform engineering, but not in the original sense. DevOps was meant to be a cultural shift in how we build and deploy software. It was meant to break down the silos that existed between development, operations, and other stakeholders in the organization and foster a culture of collaboration and shared responsibility. It was never meant to be a job title or a team name. DevOps was a practice, not a platform or a product. And that didn't stop vendors from trying to sell you a product that they labeled as DevOps. Heck, Microsoft changed Visual Studio Team Services to be called Azure DevOps. But that's not what DevOps was supposed to be about. It was about bringing in stakeholders earlier in the design process to ensure that the software software being built was hosted on the proper infrastructure, designed with security in mind, and could be deployed and maintained by the operations team. Platform engineering is not a replacement for DevOps. It doesn't replace or kill DevOps, despite what you may have heard. Instead, platform engineering is one component in helping to enable DevOps practices and principles by providing a consistent and reliable platform to build on. Platform engineering is a tool in the DevOps toolbox, not a replacement for DevOps itself. Platform engineering is also not an internal developer portal. Could that be a component of your platform? Absolutely. But the two are not the same. An internal developer portal, often called an IDP, despite that initialism already being used for identity provider, it is a place where developers can go to find documentation, code samples, and other resources to help them build applications. It's a place where developers can go find out how to use the platform, interact with that platform to deploy their applications and get support when they need it. The portal itself interacts with underlying systems to provide the developer with a seamless experience. Software like the open source project Backstage help create the portal and provide a framework for integrating with common platforms like Kubernetes, AWS, and Microsoft Azure. But the portal itself is not the platform or platform engineering. It might be leveraged by the platform platform engineers to enhance the internal developer experience, but there's more to platform engineering than just an internal developer portal. Speaking of the actual underlying platform, platform engineering is not just a fancy way to say that you're running Kubernetes. While Kubernetes can be a valid possible underlying platform for a platform engineering team that they can use to manage and offer to the application teams, there is no inherent link between platform engineering and Kubernetes. Likewise, there's no inherent link between platform engineering and the public cloud providers or any other platform as a service offering. A platform could be offered using bare metal provisioning of servers with customizable boot images. It could be an abstraction of several public cloud providers. It could be VMware sitting behind a fancy internal developer portal with automation pipelines provided by Jenkins and repositories from GitLab. Or it could be a combination of all of these options depending on the unique use case of an organization and the services it provides to its customers. Which leads us to the fundamental question. If platform engineering is not DevOps, it's not an internal developer portal, and it's not Kubernetes, then what is it? Well, platform engineering is the practice of building and maintaining a platform that application teams can use to deploy their applications. It's a set of services that are offered to those teams to help them deploy their apps in a consistent and reliable manner. It's both the platform that is offered and the team that builds and maintains 
owns it. The platform as a whole can be considered a product that's offered to the application teams to help them deploy their apps. For that reason, platform engineering is also not a product you can simply buy off the shelf or an open source solution you can download and implement. It is an internal group and a set of practices in your organization. That probably includes a product manager for the platform who is responsible for helping to define the platform requirements, listen to user feedback, and manage the life cycle of the platform. If you don't have a product owner for your platform, then you're probably not going to have a great experience for your application teams. Just like DevOps, it's a shift from how you may think about your internal development teams today. The platform engineering group has those developers as their customers, and they are responsible for building a product that the developers actually want to use. If it's a poorly designed platform with a bad interface that doesn't meet their needs, then the developers will go back to the realm of shadow IT. And I don't think anyone wants that. Platform engineering is the new hotness, because now we have a good term for something that you may already be doing in an informal way for your organization. By applying a formal label, you can establish best practices, learn from others in the community, and incorporate platform engineering focused products into your practice. While there are many things that platform engineering isn't, the one thing it is, is a way to empower your organization to build and deploy deploy applications in a consistent and reliable manner. At least those are my thoughts. I'd love to hear what you think. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you're thinking about platform engineering or if you're already trying it today. Until next time, stay healthy, stay safe out there. Bye for now.